Today is the day to talk about some birds. And no, not any birds. The birds. By the way, do you know the meaning for birds? Birds, it's the plural for bud, and it refers to the starting growth of a flower. These buds are not new, they are quite old, but like the codes say, old but gold. But my question is, are these buds still worth it? Let's check it. Hello everyone, my name is Wilson and today I bring the old but gold Galaxy Buds Pro. I know the buds too have been already released, but these ones are still a nice rival. Let's check it. I really like the design of these buds. They are a bit big and heavy and they have a design called seals two ears to better fit in your ears. The case is pretty small, I have a cover case to protect it and really fits your pocket. And these buds fit inside, being secured by magnets. This box has wireless charge and these buds are similar in size and shape to the buds and buds boost. This box lasts for 13 hours and has wireless charge. Samsung claims up that these buds will last up to 5 hours in a single charge. But after playing music constantly, I got almost 5 hours. To be more precise, I got 4 hours and 50, 52 minutes, but it's not very long for the 5 hours they gave. These buds have active noise cancelling, they are IPX7 and this means they can be submerged up to 1 meter in water for 30 minutes. They use Bluetooth 5.0 and use 3 Bluetooth codec, SBC, AAC and Samsung scalable codec. This way, iPhone users can enjoy consistent high quality of audio with the AAC codec. Also, if you have several Samsung devices, you can automatically switch between your devices without being needing to do it manually. To get this, you need to go to settings, you go to connections, Bluetooth, you go to your phones, your buds, I mean, and turn on auto switch to other devices. You also need to go to the to the Galaxy wearable. This one. You open it, you go to the earbud settings and then seamless earbud connection and turn out of this one. And this should activate this option. Besides the good isolation these buds provide, the NC is really good. This way you're not gonna have any problem with ambient sounds like a buzz or traffic while you're working on the street. Still, the closer noises are still audible. Still, if you are in the middle of the street, and you want to hear the ambient sounds while you're enjoying coffee or music, you can always turn on the ambient sound on your software app. Each bud has a touch sensitive panel, but too much sensitive, I must say. While I am working out and sweating, I don't know how, but if they are not really fit on my ears, they start to randomly increasing the volume or lowering the down. But don't worry, if this happens too much, you can go to the, to the app, of the buds and turn off the controls. If you listen to music, tap once to start the music or stop it, double tap to skip a song, triple tap to go back, and to raise the volume, tap and hold the right or ear buds. Anyway, some of these controls can be changed on the app. Above the calls, you tap once to accept the call and touch and hold to decline the call. Tap is called Galaxy wearable and this is where you can change and check the features for your ANC features. You can set ambient sound or active noise cancelling, high or low, and ambient sound volume, everything. You can customize touch controls here or try different EQ profiles. Unfortunately, there's no option to set your own. It also can detect your voice automatically and I feel this is very useful. For example, imagine you want to talk with someone or you are at the gym working out and listening to your music and someone talks with you, you don't need to take off your phones or tap them to stop the, your music. You just need to start talking and the phones automatically will lower down the volume and turn on the ambient sound so you can hear the other person. Finally, for the software, this device offers a 360 audio like the special audio from the Apple AirPods Max. And this feature creates a 360 audio virtual surround environment using the Dolby Atmos.
With head tracking, this is ideal for a media consumption. The only downside is that this feature only works with Samsung devices. These buds have an amazing sound quality. With a greater bass and a clear voice, if you like electronic music or metal, these phones are perfect for you. But if you are into classic or more vocal music, they are also good. The microphone is also good on these buds. As you can see, you can hear clear and loud, and they do a great job cutting the back noise. I also want to talk about the Seal 2 Ears, the feature I mentioned at the beginning of this video. To make use of this feature, you need to know how to put your buds inside your ears, and I'm gonna explain you. You need to insert the phone, then twist it like this, and your phone will perfectly fit on your ears. Also, in the software app you have some tutorials to explaining how to put this in your ears and your phones can automatically detect if they are in a well fitted inside your ears. Also, before the conclusion, I want to mention also another thing. As you have noticed, I have some different tips on these phones. They are not original. These ones are the original ones, whoops, these ones, and I feel like they are not fit well on my ears and I had some problems to get some isolation with these ones, the ones that come with the Samsung, but I found the memory foam tips and they are, they, they completely change your role. So if you use these ones, especially when you are working out, because when I'm working out, uh, my buds will, will fall when I start sweating. Uh, these ones, they make the Samsungs perfectly fit in your ears. But I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. Back into the conclusion, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro are still a great deal if you want to buy some true wireless buds. They have a good sound, good microphone, good active noise cancelling and they have wireless charge. For me, as a person who usually like to work out, the IPX set is really important, especially if I want to run outside and there's a probability of raining. Also, if you have a Samsung device, you get 360 audio. But if you don't, then it's a negative point. At the beginning, I didn't feel this Samsung Buds Pro much comfortable with the silicon tips that comes with them, but after throwing that tips away, but after upgrading them to the memory foam ones, was a, complete, a completely user experience for me. Better sound, better isolation, they fit better inside my ears, and much more comfortable. But about this, as I said, I will make another video explaining everything about the memory foam tips. The only down point for these buds are just the touch sensitive panels that are too much sensitive sometimes. And while I'm working out, my arms pass close to my ears, like this, and the music stops from nowhere. But besides that, they are perfect, no complaints at all. That was it, I hope this video was useful for you, I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the next video where I talk about the memory foam tips, they will help you with these buds or any other buds you use. They are a great finding and I think everyone should use them. They are very useful, they make your, your phones more comfortable, they fit better, your phone, your buds will not fall, trust me. And what about you? What do you think about these buds? Comment below and tell me. That's it, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, press that like button, subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more content like this and see you next time.